Salt, therefore, is the thing which has the fewest protons. The thing which has the most protons is the weak acid. Now, I will ha if, you, if you come into my office, I'll probably have a little laugh with you when you first time you use the word base. Because I'm going to go, uh, uh, uh. It's not a base. We're talking about a salt. And I do that so we don't confuse these terms, so that we're talking about the same thing. Okay? That which has the fewest protons is the salt. That which has the most protons is the weak acid. Okay? Acetic acid is here. It has its protons. And that is consistent with your general chemistry definition. General chemistry, an acid is something which can donate a proton. To donate a proton, it's got to have a proton. Right? Acid, salt. OK. Well, you probably learned and you probably got bored looking at the ionization, uh, the, the acid dissociation constant when you were in general chemistry. There it is. OK. Well, we're not going to worry too much about that. But I'll just tell you briefly what it means. Concentration of protons times concentration of um, the salt divided by the concentration of the acid. What does that mean? It means that the larger this number is, the more it's come apart. High K, I'm sorry, high Ka means strong acid. That makes sense because I said HCl completely came apart. So I had this is a very large number, and I had this is zero, and something divided by zero is a pretty darn large number. Okay? A weak acid, I said I had 1 in 50 million. I've got one up here, and I've got one over here, and I've got 49 million, 49, 000, 49 down here. This is a small number. This is a weak acid. Everybody with me? Okay. Now, we won't talk much in this class about Ka. We will instead talk about something called pKa. But before I talk about pKa, I need to remind you about what pH and pOH are. I say pH2, the first thing that pops into your mind is acidity. It's a measure of acidity, and it is. It's a measure of acidity because it's a measure of the, the concentration of free protons. I'll finish in just a couple minutes. It's a measure of the concentration of free protons. To have free protons, HA had to come apart, right? We don't care how those protons got there when we calculate pH. All we care about is what they are. pH, by definition, is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. The hydrogen ion, of course, is the proton. pH is the negative log of the proton concentration. If I know the concentration of protons, I can take the negative log of it, and bang, I've got it. Well, that's just the definition. If I define pH as the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration, I can just as easily define pOH as the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. And so I will. All right? So pOH is the negative log of that. By the way, you will not have to memorize any equations on my exams. I will give you every equation that you need. Okay? I'm much more interested in you showing me how you use equations than I am in having you memorize them. Moreover, you won't have to crunch any numbers. All you have to do is write out what you would plug into a calculator, and you got it. If you want to take a chance and make sure you get it plugged in the calculator right, but you might make a mistake, you can do that, but you're not required to do that. All you have to do is write down what you would punch into the calculator. Okay? All right. Well, a very nice fact is the feature of pH and pOH is pH plus OH always equals 14. If I have a solution that has a pH of 2, the pOH is 12. If I have something that has a pH of 13, the pOH is 1. Make sense? At pH 7, we have what we call neutrality. Okay? That neutrality occurs <coughs> in height occurs for pure water. If we're talking about pure water, pH 7 is neutral. That's the only time, underline that, that's the only time we're going to use that word. That's a bad word. Neutral has all kinds of meanings. The only time we're going to use the word neutral 
referring to pH is when we're talking about a solution of pure water at pH 7. If we don't have pure water, we throw the word neutral away. Okay? Because it's only neutral when it's pure water. If we have other stuff in there, neutrality has a very different meaning. Okay? All right. Let's see. That's about where I wanted to finish. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> I'll tantalize you with what we're going to have tomorrow, and I won't start talking about it here. And that's the Henderson Hasselbach equation. That equation right there is going to be the subject of what I'll be talking about most of tomorrow. Okay? Thank you for your attention. Go enjoy a happy hour. I shall see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. The chapter system, because I like to uh, like print off like you know four of the slides on one page. Yeah. What uh, what chapter are we gonna be following? Because I printed off the first one, thinking we were gonna jump into one. Well, it's on it's on the, the schedule. Oh, it is. It shows the page numbers. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Hi. Do you have any books on reserve? Yeah. Somebody asked me that earlier. I, they don't give any extra books. I do have some older editions of the book. I'll put over there. I, I meant to mention the price of this book is outrageous. It's stupid. Yeah, I know. Uh, I will get some things over there. Thanks for reminding me. Okay. okay. Hi. Hey. How's, good. How are you? Good. Uh, I was in the HH environment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I was going to ask you uh, if I could possibly take the final like uh, on Tuesday of that week because I'm going to be we're going to be leaving to monitor something. Uh, to do what? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm leaving. Let's go this way. So I'm working with. Uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh.